Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video, another episode in the 12 vlogs of Christmas and another episode in our FA Cup road to Wembley. The content does not stop coming as today we return to watch Walsall versus Alfreton in the replay of the second round of the FA Cup. The first time that we tried to watch this fixture at Alfreton, the game was called off for bad weather. The second time was a nil-nil draw, so please, for the love of God, can we get a result today well we will get a result today because if it's a draw at the end of the 90 minutes and extra time there will be penalties Walsall struggling in league two at the moment and they actually won at the weekend against inform Notts county and alfreton are continuing to push full promotion into the league above theirs but today one of these teams do go home and a date with southampton at the samara stadium is what awaits the winner of today's fixture so let's get straight up there there's been thunderstorms down south today and that rain is only going to get worse for today's loser let's get up there and let's get into today's vlog for the third attempt to settle this fixture. As always, I'd say I'm going to come to you first. What's your score prediction? Well, it's interesting since the last match. I think I'm right in saying that only Warsaw have had a game and they won. So that's taken the pressure off them a little bit. And it's at Warsaw. So obviously the odds are against Alfreton. So because of that, I'm going for a 2-1 win, Alfreton. It's going to be a shock tonight. I like that a lot. And honestly, I think Alfreton are going to win it as well. They're the better team at the last game. Putting that win aside of the weekend, they seem like a team in disarray at the moment. So for that reason, I don't think it's going to be high scoring. I think it's Alfreton 1-0. Hopefully the goal's up our end, but we'll see. No fact this week, of course, we did that last time round, but you got shown up in the comments last time, didn't you? A little bit embarrassing. I did quite rightly mention that there were two fairly famous ex-players, but the embarrassing omission for me uh, was that Alan Sniffer-Clark used to play for Walsall. In fact, he started his career with Walsall. What's really embarrassing is, um, I'm not telling anyone, I'm a lead supporter. Sorry I missed that. Um, but um, yeah, so they had a real legend play for them. That's it. Now let's get into the game. Come on, the boys. And out come the two teams for the round two of the FA Cup replay. It's a huge day for both teams, but it's a huge day for Alberton as well. If they can make it through, it will be a fantastic achievement for the club. But Walsall stand between them and a place in the next round against Southampton. And we are underway, ladies and gentlemen. So on the break now, it's a good touch. Alfreton fans, it's a disaster start. Those that have turned out at Walsall today are very, very pleased. There's still plenty of time for Alfreton to get back into this game, but it is Walsall who strike first. The start of this game has been all Walsall, and I'm not surprised that they've taken the lead. It was Alfreton's mistake from the free kick that led to Walsall having the counter-attack. They executed it relatively well, to be fair. It's poor defending from Alfreton, but they are 1-0 down now, and it's Walsall's to lose early doors. Oh, almost took a steward out here. Oh. And also in again. The keeper once again deals with it, but Alfreton looking a different side to the side that we saw in the last game. Oh. Spilled by the keeper. Oh, and it's side netting. Alfreton getting away with absolute murder. They can't handle the Walsall pressure. Oh, he spilled it. Just about hangs on. That's the ball. Oh, man, the keeper deals with that well. First real chance of the game for Alfreton. Oh, great strike and a great save from the keeper. rare 
Alfreton chance blazed over the bar. It's been all Walsall so far. Alfreton need to be more productive in front of goal. Create some chances because they're letting this game slip away from them. And if Walsall take another, I can't see them getting back involved. Good play from Walsall. Oh, brilliant save. And it's out for a corner. Quite literally, single-handedly keeping Alfreton in this game. And that is half time, ladies and gents. So, ladies and gents, it's half time. What did you make of the first half? I think uh, Alfreton are performing well, but not well enough at the end of the day. It's, uh, I think, uh, Warsaw look comfortable and um, deserve their lead, even though it's a lucky goal. But it did have to come from an Alfreton mistake as well off the top of the pitch there. To be honest with you, I think uh, Warsaw looks fairly comfortable in the first half. And um, But Alfreton, they're still in it. They're not playing bad. They just need to be more um, productive up front. Yeah, no, I completely agree, to be fair. I think that Alfreton were really, really poor at the beginning. They've grown back into it, but you can hear from the fan bases as the team walks out, the belief is still there for these fans. Can they do it in the second half? We'll have to see, but Walsall very much deserve their lead. But can Alfreton get that goal to make things uncomfortable? And we are back underway. <laughs> Massive appeals for handball from the players and the fans. That's never, ever going to be a penalty, in my opinion. I haven't even watched it back. Here, the ball is hand looked down by its side. Regardless, Alfreton have a corner. Brilliant play from Alfreton. Oh, and the cross wasn't there. While in stark contrast to the first half, it's Alfreton who come out the better side. Can they nick an equaliser? The momentum is definitely in their favour at the moment, but we'll have to wait and see. Fingers crossed, because how great would it be to see them at St Mary's? And where is the keeper? Oh, the chip had the stadium silent, but the goalkeeper gets away with it. He's very, very lucky. Save from the goalkeeper as both keepers now who've had to make brilliant saves to keep their team in this game. Oh, now Walsall are in. Oh, it's a brilliant challenge. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> there is a cat on the pitch. How cool is that? He's bobbing it. With less than 15 minutes left, I have to need one of these to find the back of the net, or their FA Cup dream is over. It's a great touch. Oh. Now Alfton have a corner. As that clock is ticking, one of these needs to go in. Just about dealt with. Oh, that is a wasted opportunity for Walsall. With a clock ticking, that was their chance to seal the game. And there's going to be six minutes of added time. This could be it now. Oh, great defending again. It really feels like this is Alfreton's last chance. Oh, and it's all the way through. And that is it. Hands on the head for the Alfreton players, but they can hold their heads high because 
It's been a great campaign for them. They've held themselves well against this opposition over the two games. But it is Walsall's day. They managed to hang on despite the lack of chances in the second half. And credit to them, they've put themselves a day at the St Mary's in Southampton. We've enjoyed our time seeing Alfreton, but unfortunately that time is up now, as we will be following Walsall from here on forth. You can see how appreciative the Alfreton fans are and how proud they are of their team. Walsall, we will see you in the next round. Congratulations and all the best for that game against Southampton. We'll see you there. That's nice to see as well. The Walsall fans clapping off the Alfreton players to touch the class from them. So, ladies and gents, that is the end of this Walsall versus Alfreton saga. And what a saga it's been. It has been a saga, isn't it? Because uh, it's it's really weird because it feels like we've been following Alfreton for ages. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's strictly, it's only two rounds, isn't it? But uh, in terms of uh, these two legs, I, I, I don't actually think there's been a lot between them. League-wise, you can see that because... Uh, Actually, they're, they're probably only well with less than twenty places between them. I would imagine, mm. and I think Alfreton can hold their heads up high. I think they they put in a good shift again tonight. Tried really hard. Came on better in the second half. They had lots of crosses in, uh, lots of opportunities, but never really were able to convert anything. To be fair, the best team won on, on the night. I think, and over the two legs, I think uh, Walsall did just shade it so probably deserve to go through manager's still probably getting sacked in the morning isn't he yeah probably probably interestingly and it's very rare that this happens you're I'm, going to disagree with I'm me I'm going to disagree with you you're disagreeing with the last match so it's actually getting a bit oh. too uh, it's getting a bit too regular this <laughs> I actually think that even though you're right I do think that I think that Alfton over both games were probably the best team the first half of the first half was Walsall and from then on in Alfreton for me just took it but like you said they just couldn't take their chances they got the ball forward they pinged loads of balls in and they were either dealt with or not converted putting it bluntly which is a shame because it would have been brilliant to see them through but and this is something I haven't actually brought up on the channel but we've spoken about quite a lot every time that we've been to an FA Cup round the team in red has won <laughs> so the theme of that is still going on if you go back and you look at all of the other episodes the team in red has won every single one with the, the obvious exception of Alfton being at home that nil nil draw it's quite interesting isn't it and it's going to happen in the next round it's going to happen in the next round as much as we've enjoyed um watching Walsall in this saga it's been a pretty bleak watch if i'm gonna be completely honest going forward there's just not a lot going on i just can't see them having enough to overturn southampton who i've been fortunate enough to see i think three times so far this season and they just look a different class they have their eyes set on the premier league Walsall have their eyes set on staying up in league two so it's two teams fighting different battles but we'll be there to see what happens it'd be great if Walsall won what an upset that would be yeah as you say it's highly unlikely but this is the fa cup it is indeed. and um, these things happen so and that's why we're, why we're doing this we because we hope that we're going to have that round where there's a, a, a big shock definitely and, um, so who's to say Walsall couldn't do it might Absolutely. have a new manager by then <laughs> maybe they will thank you very much for watching though thank you for joining me as always mm -hmm. in the road to Wembley and the 12 vlogs of Christmas the next one is coming out on Thursday you're not going to be there unfortunately are you no but I'm going to be there on Saturday excellent there you go so you've got two more vlogs to look forward to this week ladies and gents thank you so much for watching as always I will see you in the next instalment of the road to Wembley as well as the next instalment of the 12 vlogs of Christmas thank you so much for watching as always take care peace and love <laughs>